a perfect day to be going swimming in a lake, isn't it, Dad? It is, JC. And wait till you see the lake. It's beautiful. Here we are. Hey, Dad, look over there. Wonder what he's building. Excuse me, but what are you doing? I am building a raft. A raft? Wow! Hello, I'm Jayvardhan and this is my son, JC. <laughs> my name is Vishnu. Hey, once my raft is finished, I'll use it to go to the other side of the lake. Would you like to come along? Oh yes, I'm sure. JC here would enjoy that very much. Wouldn't you, JC? Yes, please. Thanks so much for asking us, Vishnu. This is the best camping trip ever. No problem. I'll be happy to take you to the other side. But it will take some time for me to finish my raft. I need to take these two logs here and tie them at right angles to the rest of the raft for support. No problem. We'll wait over there for you. What's a right angle, Dad? A right angle is a type of angle. Oh, but wait. You don't know what angles are. No, I don't. Come on, tell me what they are. Do you remember what a ray is, JC? Yes, I do. A ray is a line that starts from a point and goes on endlessly in one direction. Take a look at these twigs. Imagine that these are rays. Now, when I move the ray like this, so that they start from one common point, they form an angle. Hey, so that's how we get an angle, huh? You got it right, JC. Two rays starting from a common point form an angle. Let us name these two rays as OA and OB. The two rays are called the arms or sides of the angle. Arms? Yes, arms. And the common point O is called the vertex of the angle. Now, look here. This is the symbol for an angle. We generally name an angle by three capital letters. The letter at the vertex always comes in between the other two letters. So, we can name this as angle AOB. Sometimes an angle is named by its vertex letter. That is angle O or even by small letters like A and B or natural numbers like 1 and 2. Dad, look! Even I have made an angle with these twigs. I wish I had bigger twigs. I would have made even bigger angles. <laughs> no, JC. Angles are not measured by the length of their arms. Then how do you measure an angle? Look at these twigs again, JC. Remember how I formed the angle by moving this ray from its original position here to its final position here. Um, yes. So the magnitude of an angle is measured in terms of the amount of turn required to go from the initial position to the final position. The unit to measure an angle is called degree. The symbol for degree is written to the right of the number. One complete turn is 360 degrees. So an angle can measure anywhere between 0 degree to 360 degrees. Cool! Is there a way to measure angles, Dad? Yes, JC. You can measure any angle you want. For that, you need to use an instrument called the protractor, which you can find in your geometry box. I'll show you how to do this 
once we get home. Okay, Dad. Now look at these twigs again. I am going to move one of the arms till the two look like the capital letter L. Hey, it does look like the letter L. In geometry, we call this a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Cool. I'll remember this. Shall I show you one more right angle? Look, Dad. My hands have formed a right angle. <laughs> Best right angle I have ever seen. Now, if the angle is less than a right angle, then we call it an acute angle. One more thing. If we keep the twigs in a straight line, we will get a straight angle. Straight angle? Hey, that's easy. Yes. The measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. Straight angle that looks like a straight line. Okay. Are there any more angles? Yes. One more type of angle to remember. An angle which is more than a right angle but less than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle. Acute, obtuse, right and straight. Great! Look at the time, JC. Come on, let's get going. You want to cross the lake on the raft or not? I'm sure Vishnu would have finished making it by now. This is great, Dad. I can't wait to reach home and tell everyone of all the fun we are having. <laughs> okay now, let's hurry for a raft ride. Thanks so much for taking us on this ride, Vishnu. It's my pleasure, JC. Dad, I really enjoyed our outing in the woods. Yes, JC. Even I enjoyed it. And you taught me so much about angles. Thank you so much, Dad. Remember, you told me about an instrument which we can use to draw and measure angles. You promised to tell me about it at home. Oh, yes, JC. I remember. This is the instrument I was talking about. The protractor. I remember. Exactly, JC. This is a protractor. But how do you use it? Come, I'll show you. Let's draw an acute angle. Tell me, what measurement would you like to draw, JC? Um, acute means less than 90 degrees. So, let's draw an angle measuring 80 degrees. Okay. First, let's draw a ray and mark its origin as A. Now, place the center of this protractor on point A so that the straight edge of the protractor coincides with the ray that we've just drawn. Now, look along the protractor and find the division for the angle that you want to draw, which in this case is 80 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Stop. Now mark a point at the 80 degree division and name it point C. Remove the protractor and join C to A. And here you go. Angle A measures 80 degrees. Hey, that's great, Dad. Ooh, look here. So if I moved such one division upward from 80, right till the center of the protractor, I would draw an angle measuring 90 degrees. Right? Yes, exactly, JC. That is how you would draw a right angle. So how do we measure angles using a protractor? That's quite easy, JC. Let me draw an angle and then we can measure it. There you go. Let's name this angle XYZ. Now, let's measure this angle. Okay, Dad. Now place the center of the protractor on point Y, like I showed you earlier. Now what, Dad? Now start with point zero and move along the edge of the protractor till you come to the mark. 
through which ray xy passes um he it's 120 dad exactly so this angle measures 120 degrees gosh that was easy 120 degrees so this is an obtuse angle isn't it dad yes it is because it measures more than 90 degrees now look here i've drawn some points on this angle can you name points which lie on angle xyz um d which are the points you can see here jc uh efg and h now if you look carefully points e and f lie inside the angle that is they lie in the interior of angle xyz points g and h lie outside angle xyz that is in the exterior of angle xyz that's great dad thanks no problem son my camping trip was a lot of fun and while we were there dad taught me all about angles let me summarize it for you two rays starting from a common point form an angle an angle has a vertex and two arms a right angle measures exactly 90 degrees an angle which is lesser than 90 degrees is called an acute angle an angle which measures exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle an angle which is greater than a right angle and lesser than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle you can draw and measure angles by using an instrument called a protractor the space enclosed within an angle is called the interior of an angle the space outside an angle is called the exterior of the angle